Hello guys and welcome to Star Citizen Into the Verse. Today we're looking at signatures and a missions overview for Arena Commander 1.0. This will also briefly cover missile usage. So Arena Commander has brought loads of new features to the dogfighting in Star Citizen. Today we're going to talk about those signatures and some of those features. Most objects generate a detectable signature of some sort in the verse. These signatures take on um, many forms, so um, radio signals, electromagnetic signals, audio signals. Uh, in Arena Commander 1.0 we currently have IR or infrared heat. This is um, the signals generated by thrusters and systems that just generate heat by being on. Uh, coolers and time will reduce this. Um, EM, so that's electromagnetic. This is generated by shields, power plants, system use, more power being used, the higher the AM signal. Cross section, so this is a 3D signature. This is literally the actual shape and volume of the ship, the cross section of it. The cross section will change based on what angle you're viewing the ship at. So, for example, uh, an Avenger with a uh, view from the front has a lower cross section than one view from the top, for example. To register these detectables, there is the SNR system, or signal to noise ratio. To be able to detect a target in Star Citizen, you have to be able to see them more than the background, so they have to be more obvious than the background. So their signal needs to be higher than the noise, the background noise. So what is noise in Star Citizen? It's not an arbitrary value, there is a very clever equation that goes into it that works out how much background noise is going on. Some of the levels have default background noises, but there's going to be stuff like um, shafts or shafts or countermeasures, however the fuck you want to pronounce that, um, pulsars, asteroids, uh, other ships, anything that can get in the way um, could interfere with the background sound, could make a chip easier or harder to detect. The noise is then calculated by measuring the distance between the two targets, anything in the way, and then whatever's happening in the background. So we've got some cool ways to detect ships in Arena Command 1.0, and some varying types of missiles. Some of them lock onto EM signatures, some of them lock onto IR signatures and track the targets better that way. We even have rockets now, which are obviously dumb fire. Don't need any form of lock, they just fire forward. Pew. I'm finding these quite hard to use, the rockets, because I forget that I've got them on my ship. Um, also, with the missiles now, you can lock on multiple missiles to a single ship, fire them all off at once. Uh, so if you're using a keyboard and mouse, that's literally uh, pressing the middle mouse and then holding it when you want to fire off rather than just lock. And some targeting systems enable you to lock onto multiple ships the missiles and then fire them all off at the same time. I think that's absolutely great. The idea of signatures, emissions and noise creates a really great level of dynamic gameplay. It's always going to be changing, you're always going to be fighting in a different area, always going to be moving, always going to have different cross sections revealed of different craft with different amounts of heat. Your lasers are going to generate heat, your engines are going to generate heat. From experimenting with some of the ships, the 350R for example generates a load of heat just from its engines, just going blazing away those engines. But the Ghost Hornet for example is amazingly quiet. In fact, I don't think I've actually been shot with a missile in the Ghost Hornet yet. Um, she is very, very stealthy, little sneaky, sneaky hobbitses. Anyway, guys, I hope that's been informative. Really great gameplay now in Arena Commander 1.0. Jump into the verse if you haven't already. I'll see you there. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!